Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Let's get out of here! Ditch these losers. We kick their ass! And, uh, well, get out of the city, too, while we're at it. We gotta, well, follow Yuna, I guess. Oran said he'd offer his services to her, so we have to come along with him, too. I'll offer my services to Yuna, too. I mean... She's asking for it. She did, back back at the forest. She said she wanted us to come there, be near her. We were all alone. You think he's gonna stay here? Sure, why not? Sir Oren knows him, apparently. He's got a you promising right. career. He did meet someone he knew. Do you think he'll find a way back to Xanarkand? In any case, I'll miss having him around. Yep. N you'll never see him again. He's still in town, isn't he? I think I'll go see him. Maybe he'll wash up on shore again <gasps> somewhere. Whoa. Sororin! Hey. How's it going? View's pretty nice here. Yeah, I'd do the salute to you guys, but you I kind of got a gimp arm so, here, so... I wish to become your guardian. Do you accept? Uh, You're serious? For free? You refuse. No, no. We accept, right, everyone? Uh, of course. No problem at all. I accept payment in beer and Why? bacon. I promised Braska. Stop you kicking the tires, Titus. My father? Thank you, Sir Oren. You're welcome to join us. How did he know Yuna was gonna and become a summoner? He comes oh. too. That's my price. Hi, you gotta babysit guys. him for me. Uh, howdy. This one I promised checked. Hey, you guys already Is know him anyway. Alive? Can't say. Haven't seen him in ten years. Yeah, it's a long I time. See. You just save the world and then you ditch the guy? You'll meet eventually. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. What do you mean by that? What's our itinerary? So since I'm the new guy in the group, I'm going to uh, start taking charge. Is, hey, that, is that okay, everyone? Me. Thanks. I mean, I guess he is the most experienced one, but... <sighs> this is... This is the moment you've all been waiting for, viewers. Hey, watch. <gasps> oh, you, boy, you learned how to do that pretty fast. Wish I could do that. You got pretty good. I'm really good at whistling myself, viewers. I'll you be honest sad. with you. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's going to help this time. I just learned my dad was Godzilla. How are you doing this afternoon? You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. Isn't that why you kind of do what you do? A lot of people Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know? <laughs> I know it's hard. But... Well, I guess I'm, he's a guardian now, but... Yeah. You're the summoner. You're the savior of the world. I'm just the muscle. I think. Right. Now, let's see what you can do. Huh? Hmm? What? Come on. Uh, uh. Come on, look sexy for me. I, I mean, I know you just learned the most startling thing in your entire life, but... How's this? This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> this is weird. Next, try laughing out loud. No, what? no, 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 Tita, don't, 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 don't do this, Tita. Don't, don't listen to her. Don't, no, no, no. You were laughing just fine a second ago. That, that, that counts. <sighs> There's no avoiding it, is there, viewers? <sighs> uh, 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 uh. 
She said laugh, not crow! You probably shouldn't laugh anymore. I'm sorry I asked you. Stop! Stop! Please stop! Anything but that! Well, you can't beat him. Lick him. I mean, join him. Now, actually, I like this scene, viewers. I mean, they're trying to cheer each other up. I mean, okay, yeah, it's awkward and maybe a little uncomfortable to watch, but hey, it's a hell of a lot better than people treating us like shit when we're trying to save the world here. I mean, we just had scene after scene after scene of people being assholes to us for no good reason. And it's just like, God! Now we finally get this scene, it's like, this is a godsend to me! Okay. I'm serious. I actually like if this scene. I mean, okay, yeah, it is a little awkward, but I mean, myself. it makes me feel a little better. It's a nice, light-hearted scene. Running. No one's trying to be a douchebag to each other. I mean, it's one thing to have characters who have character flaws, mm. who, <laughs> you, you know, aren't the nicest guys in the world, who well, aren't completely bland. I mean, hey, look at Oran. He's an asshole, but he's cool about it. But when you have... Like, one right after the other, after what the other, after the at? other, it's just... We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. It's just too much. I mean, there's a difference between, Sorry. you know, spicing up well, the character development right. and now, adding flavor to the, the game and just putting and you on a boat with a whole bunch of assholes. Don't forget to smile. So, and this scene is a breath of fresh air to me. It's like, ah, oh, we're finally through all that stuff. So, now it's all uphill from here. Starting with the first NPC on this area, actually. But before we do that, there's something new that we can do for side quest time! Maybe it might be a better idea to put your city not at the bottom of a hill when the story of the world is a giant fish. But anyway, once you go to the save sphere here, you can play Blitzball pretty much anywhere in the world, as long as you got a save sphere here. You can scout for new players and stuff like that with the square button, just like Triple Triad and whatever that other game was in Final Fantasy IX. I know what the game is, but anyway. What I want to do is I want to try to get the tournament to show up here, but we can't do that right now. Because uh, there, there's a particular prize that I want to win from that tournament. So what I want to do is, in order to get the tournament to come up, I want to play uh, exhibition games and then forfeit them really quickly. And just do that over and over and over again until I get the tournament to show up, preferably with the prize that I want, of course. Unfortunately, at least to my knowledge, I don't think you can uh, forfeit until you get the ball. So this might take me a little while. Well, at least we got something on it, but yeah. I don't even care if these guys score on me. I just need the ball so that way I can forfeit. Please run out. Yes! See, they're passed. That guy's passed out, ran out. So, uh, that guy wasn't able to catch the ball. Now, if I can... Yes! Okay, let's forfeit. So, yeah, press the triangle button. Once you get the ball, you can forfeit. Forfeit? What's that mean? But anyway, okay, so... Let's, uh, get out of there. Let's see if we got the tournament to come up. If not, then I'll just, uh, keep on doing this over and over again off-screen until I do it. So, yeah, let's try another exhibition. Okay, there we go. We got attack reels as the prize for this tournament. That's basically what I want to get out of this. So, now let's uh, get out of here. I've already saved my file off screen. So, now tournaments, the way they work is it's essentially three rounds until you get to the... Well, yeah, two rounds to get to the finals, and then you play the finals. So three rounds, three games, essentially. You got to win in order to get that. I highly recommend getting attack reels for Waka. It is 
one of the most obscene overdrives in the game for anyone, let alone for Waka. So yeah, it's really nice. Uh, so it's just three blitz ball games. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. It's just really, really, really good. So now let's get some players, or scout some players for our team. This guy is Jumal, probably the best goalie you can get at this point in the game. So you talk to him, sign him up for three games, there you go. So yeah, it does cost a little bit of money, but eh, it's negligible. I wouldn't worry about that. So now let's uh, look for some other players. Obviously, there's going to be more players, or better players, at other towns in the game. But for right now, I just want to do this right now, get it over and done with. And that way, we don't have to worry about Blitzball again until probably about the end of the game. So anyway, here's Zalitz. I like using him. So let's sign him up for a few games there for the tournament. I'm not worried about their contracts running out at the end because I basically take a min-max approach to Blitzball. I want to keep everyone's levels as low as possible by resetting data and doing this over and over and over and over again. Now, I'll be honest, viewers, I am not an expert on Blitzball. I am far, I'm probably far from the best at it. Anyway, here's Wedge, the last player I want to sign up for my team. But yeah, so basically, I'm going... Oh yeah, we gotta get rid of someone. Uh, let's see, probably Jet... Or, no, Ditto. Yeah. I was thinking Jesu, but... Yeah, there's Biggs, but Wedge is the good one. But yeah, um... I've never done, like, anything beyond level 20 in Blitzball. I just really don't think it's necessary, and... It's just easier, at least for me, to keep everyone's levels really, really low, so that way I can overpower them. And here we get the Jupiter Crest. You can only get this after leaving Luca and then coming back there. So, yeah, if you tried doing it before, you couldn't do it. But now we can. So let's save, just to make sure I uh, don't lose the, all those pl Well, not the players, but uh, the prizes that I just got. And let's go play some Blitzball now. You can do it right from the save sphere, so let's go do that. Okay, so we go into the tournament, and our first game is... The Albed Sykes. They are the hardest team to beat at this point in the game. They just... Their goalie is just ridiculously strong. But anyway, uh, here's the order that I want to put in my party members. Or, well, my teammates. Whatever. With Jasu there, Jamal's my goalie. Yeah, with Jamal's goalie, it's going to be pretty hard for them to... Uh, for them to get through. Now, anyway, here's what I want to do. I want to start setting marks. Basically, what that means is... If you see the name of the tech highlighted there on the left, that means you could potentially learn that tech. So what you got to do is you got... It's kind of like learning blue magic. You basically wait to see them use it, and then press the X button when you see the tech copy flashing there, and then you can learn it. And techs are basically different moves that you can use in Blitzball, besides just passing, shooting, and so on. They basically enhance what you can do. So yeah, just go through each character, look for anyone who has a move that you might be able to learn. But yeah, if the name of the tech isn't highlighted, you can't learn it. Or you've already learned it. So, now I'm going to go over things a lot slower than I did in the first match there. Because, well, that was pretty much an unfair match. It's really hard to demonstrate stuff. So, here's where I really want to uh, use my strategy. Okay, so let's set the movement to manual. Normal formation, I think that's good. And I want to draw out the center there. So let's uh, get, lure him over here, just kind of kite him. Press the square button, pass to Zalitz. Now let's have Zalitz go down and to the left, and I want to try and draw out his, uh, the, the other guy there. Let's go back. Oh. Okay, now you see here, my pass stat is way less than his block stat. So if I don't break, there's no way I'm going to get a pass to go through this guy. 
So, yeah, that's not going to work there. Let's see what happens if I try to break this guy. Now, you see my energy stat is just a little more than his attack stat. So that means if I break through him, I can basically knock him out of the way and then get a free pass because he can't block me. I broke him out of the conflict here or whatever. So let's do that. And then I will try to pass. Yes. Okay. We survived. Now we can pass with no interference. I could try getting a pass over the wedge, but I don't think I could get it in there before running out of my pass stat there. So now what I want to do is get Titus in there. Let's see. Okay, we've only got two guys here. So let's no break. Shoot. Jack shot. That'll knock out the two uh, blockers here. And hopefully, if I get a little lucky, I'll be able to get my shot through. Unfortunately, Nimrook has a catch stat of 18. So, yeah, that's really hard to get through. Now, even though his catch stat is really that high, it's higher than any of my sh shot stats, I should still be able to potentially get a shot through if I get lucky, because there is some random variance. Now, you see here, my shot stat is 17, and his catch stat is 18. So, yeah, he has a better chance of blocking than I have of getting my shot through, but there's still a chance. I mean, it's not a great chance, but... Against the Abed Sykes, you gotta take what you can get. Maybe I'll get lucky. Nah. Okay. So yeah, that's basically what you gotta do against the Abed Sykes. Fortunately, with my goalie, it's gonna be really hard for them to score on me too. Okay, we got the ball. Good, good. Let's uh, get out of there. See, I want to try and pass to Wedge, I think. Yeah, he should be able to get through. I hope. Okay, let's get going over there. Try to get a little closer to the goalie. Okay, come on, come on. Ah, nuts. Yeah, I got stuck here. You see, my pass and shot stats are way lower than their block stats. And my energy stat is way less than their attack stats. So, I'm basically screwed. I might as well just try to do a pass. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll just whiff at the ball. Nah. I mean, sometimes they'll just completely miss for some random reason. But, uh, yeah, I was totally hosed there. There's nothing I can do. Let's see, Titus goes through, gets the ball. Maybe I can get a shot in there. Okay, let's see, can I break that one? Okay, my energy is greater than uh, their attack, so I should be able to get through. Unfortunately, my HP is so low, I can't use Jack shot anymore. So I'm gonna try and pass out of here if I can. That's Oh, was there another guy there? Huh. Maybe I missed something there. Wow, his pass stats really good. Yeah, you see how I... There was tech copy there? Press the X button. Boom. We get a new tech. I mean, we can't use it right now, but I could potentially use it later. Not that I would really want Titus to learn it, or use it, because I wanted him to use, like, Jack Shot or something. Uh-oh. Oh, phew. Thank you for not shooting when you had no one on you right next to the goal. One thing you could do is, like, once you get the lead, you could just hide behind your own goalie, like I was showing you in the last... in the first game. Well, at least they didn't score on me. Okay, yeah, we're almost to halftime, so, uh, yeah, there's no way anyone's gonna do anything. Oh, come on! Yeah, you see, even though they got the shot off beforehand, it's not like, uh, basketball where, well, you, if you get the shot off, you're okay if the timer runs out. Hey, all right, we got a new tech slot. Learned te nap pass from uh, tech copy there. So 
Well, at least I was able to demonstrate that. Yeah, put all my players, same positions there. Let's see. Now, what I'm thinking I want to try and do is I want to actually use Sphere Shot instead of Jack Shot. Against most goalies, uh, Jack Shot would probably be better because I can knock out some players with it. But Sphere Shot potentially gives me a much higher shot stat, which might be able to pierce uh, Nimrook's high catch stat. He's the only one that you're going to run into that is just that ridiculously powerful and hard to deal with. Okay, let's give this another try. Maybe someone will be able to score. Man, this really is soccer. Nothing happens. See, I should be able to get the ball here. All right, yeah, let's uh, back off here then. Try to draw some of these guys out if I can. Yeah, you want to press the square button before they're able to uh, catch up with you. Let's see. I'm thinking of just going straight to my uh, forwards there. Yeah, let's do that. Since uh, I seem to have attracted their guard... Or yeah, more of their guards there. Just a little closer. Okay, we got one guy to break through. Ooh, I'm gonna have to get a little lucky to break through this guy. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't happening. Oh well. Yeah, I thought I'd try going for broke, but uh, eh, that didn't work out too well. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to. Yeah, I'll get the ball here. Yeah, she basically just gave up, like, yeah, I'm not getting out of this one. Whoa. You gotta get away. Not two. Not... Ugh. Yeah, they basically got me. I don't think there's anything I can do. One thing to keep in mind with uh, breaks is if you got two people to break through... Oh, I actually made it! Wow. Didn't expect that. But yeah, if you've got two people to break through, you can't break through one or the other. Now that didn't work out. Yeah, you have to either break through the first one or both of them. You can't go through the second one instead of the first one. Nah, it doesn't work that way, viewers. That's... I should have gotten the ball there, but he got lucky. I'll be able to catch up with this loser. Ha ha! Oh, he's got a good stat there. Yeah, break through one. Try to get a pass through. Okay, come on. Yes! Okay, I'll get the ball back. Okay, now we're in a pretty good position. Just do that. Try to lure out the guard. If I can. There we go. Alright, I should be able to break through there. Get a pass. Or not. Man, they're getting all the rolls here. All right. Ha-ha! <laughs> well, at least I got Jassy there. I'm going to have to hurry up if I want to get a shot off before the end of the game. Uh, if you haven't gotten a shot off by, like, 4 minutes and 30 seconds, you're probably not going to uh, get one off because you you got to set it up. You got to get the goal, ball into the goal before you run out of time, and that's just really hard to do. I could try passing to Titus, but now nah, let's go to Wedge. I don't want to risk Titus getting surrounded like that without the jet shot. Okay, that's about as close as I'm going to get without uh, a second player getting through. Try and break, maybe get a little lucky. No. Man, I just need these breaks to go my way. One break! One time, dealer! Nice. Aw, oh, man! That was a long pass. You're lucky you uh, didn't run out of your stat. Yeah, you're not uh, you're not getting through this one. Come on. 
Rejected! Yeah, unfortunately, when you're on defense, you really can't do a whole lot. You're not really in control of your players that much. Okay, now what I want to do is... Ugh. Yeah, I'm screwed. I was hoping I could get away from him fast enough and get a pass off to Wedge or Titus there, but uh, yeah, unless he totally whiffs. Ah, oh, man, I almost had it. Yeah. Nuts. Well, at least I'm not losing. You gotta think positive. But, yeah. I ran out of time in this game. Oh, wow. Well, at least we got some experience, but... Hey, hey all right, yeah, we go to overtime. It's not over yet. So, yeah, you get another overtime period. The only change to the rules, at least to my knowledge, is if uh, whoever scores first wins immediately. As opposed, It's just like uh, American football. As opposed to uh, regular, or regulation, where the other team will actually have a chance. Actually, they changed that in recent in recent years, didn't they? In the NFL, where you get a chance to get the ball at least once, even if they score on the first possession. Well, in Blitzball, it doesn't work that way. It works like the way the NFL used to work, where whoever scores first wins, and if you never got a chance to get the ball, tough shit. That's the way it works here. So anyway, hopefully I'll be able to get the ball rather quickly. Mm, doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh, wow, he's got a really good pass stat. Oh, nuts. Yeah, I whiffed at that. Not that it really mattered, but... Yeah, you see how Titus didn't even block it, even though he had a block stat? Yeah. At least this guy doesn't have a good shot stat, so I can kind of not worry about him. Thank you for not breaking through me. Okay. But anyway, okay, so what I want to try and do is get the ball to, let's see, Titus. Yeah, he's the only one remotely in range. Unfortunately, Letty was put to sleep by that nap pass there, so he's kind of sitting there in the middle now. Let's see, I might be able to break him. Now, what I want to do is dribble here, which, oh, well, if I kept the ball, dribble means I basically just keep it and keep going. I don't pass, I don't shoot or anything. Well, at least these guys are being idiots now. Well, Titus is kind of all alone by himself. I, I seem to have successfully drawn them away. So if I can just get Titus close enough to the goal without anyone getting in my way, maybe I can get a spear shot off before it's too late. Okay, come on. Okay. Yes! Okay, come on, come on! Shoot! Spear shot! Come on! Okay, it's high enough! It's high enough! Thank God! Oh, that was a painful experience, viewers. Ah. Man, it's hard beating the Albed Sykes. But, alright, we got him. Next we go against the Luka Goers, which, ironically, would be a lot easier. Which is kind of strange, considering we beat the Albed Sykes in the storyline for some reason, but... Yeah, when you play them for real, holy cow. So, we got two more games to go. Can we win the tournament and Waka's ultimate, well, maybe not his ultimate, but his best overdrive? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.